Greetings, everyone. It is so good to be with you guys today. Today, I just pray that this Lenten season, you all have been drawing closer to Christ and being able to see how amazing and liberating Christ is. Jesus is our Redeemer, our Savior, and our Deliverer. During this season, we remember how, time after time how Christ never leaves our side. God reminds us through Scripture how much He's delivered. Um, in Exodus 3, we know about the story about Moses and, the, and how God speaks through him through the burning bush. At this time, God uh, asks him to be his spokesperson, as well as, you know, tells him that you have to deliver my people out of Egypt. Of course, at this time, Moses is like, I'm not qualified. I don't have the abilities. He asks and has so many different concerns. But God at the time reassures him and said, I will be with you every step of the way. So, of course, we all know how the story goes. Moses was, did exactly what God asked him to do, and God did exactly what he said he would. He delivered his people out of Egypt. There will be times where we doubt ourselves and our abilities and our calling, but we have to always remember, if God called us to do his will, he's also going to deliver us through it. There are many things that can cause a person to feel weighed down through bondage and fear. Scripture continues to remind us that God can set us free from it. In uh, Luke 13, there was a woman that was crippled for 18 years, and she came to see Jesus. And in that time, Jesus pointed out the fact that it wasn't just a physical bondage that she had. She had a spiritual bondage that Satan had taken over. So when she came to see Jesus... Jesus knew that she was ready to be healed and free from that bondage. He clearly claimed that Satan had no control over her life. And once she met Jesus, he redeemed her and healed her from that. Fear is another thing that can prevent us from doing God's will. Fear of the unknown, fear of even death. Christ sacrificed his life on the cross for us to be saved from all sin. His power allows us believers to stand and face the uh, oppressions around us. If we trust and believe, God can liberate us from all unhealthy fears. As we continue this Lenten season, I pray that you meet Jesus and that you meditate on his word and see how he can liberate you from all worries, bondages, and fears. In John 8, 36, it tells us, if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. I pray that you are blessed during this Lenten season.